Hello, I'm uh, Mark. This is my brother Shane. I'm Scott. G'day all. We're from uh, Cobram. Scott's from Narendra. Uh, we've just told him don't go too close to the bloody water, otherwise one of these sand slugs might come out and eat him. We've got to be careful not to talk too much bullshit because they attack. <laughs> They'll come out of nowhere and grab you if you speak too much bullshit. No, we're just having a look at the uh, river here, the, the bank erosion, the shocking bank erosion that's happening to our river, uh, which happens when the uh, springtime flows from uh, September to December, when the Murray-Darling Basin Authority put so much water down the river, it's not even funny. And they're doing the same up your way too, Scott, yeah, yeah. on the Bidgee. Yeah. You know, I think the biggest drama is when we get the high flows or the fast flows in winter, the clay is wet. Yeah. Well, it has rain on it. Yeah. But when it's dry, it just cuts it away like that. That's so, you can see here, their goal is to run 15,000 megs a day. So as you can see above old mate in the canoe over here, the line just under the tree here, that's 15,000. That is actually the 15,000 meg environmental flow line. So this is saving the environment. So the Murray-Darling Basin Authority are saving the environment by pushing environmental flows down. And that's, that's, that's a fact, there's no, I'm making this shit up. That line is carved into the riverbank, trees falling in everywhere for hundreds of k's down the river. And this is to save water for the environment. I'm speechless, I don't, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. That's why we say the sand slug feeds on bullshit because the, what they're telling us is the environmental flows are for the environment, which we know <laughs> are not for the environment. No. They're for almonds, they're for downstream supply that's been, been able to be traded from below the choke to above the choke. It's for the fake lakes to keep the uh, lakes full in South Australia and just to flush all our beautiful fresh water out to sea. Notice from Yarrawonga down to Barma, the beaches now get the, they're flowing so hard. The beaches are getting pushed out into the middle of the river. So now's a great time to be looking out. You have a look at any river bend at any beach from Yarrawonga through to Barma. The ends of the beaches get washed out and get pushed out into the middle of the river, and that's what they're calling sand slugs. Now we know that's caused by the Murray-Darling Basin spring environmental flows so it pushes the beach out to the middle of the river and that's what they're calling the sand slug. Now, you've got blokes being paid half a million dollars a year in the Murray-Darling Basin Authority that come up and had to invent that it was created by the gold rush in the 1850s. Now, it's piss hilarious funny if it wasn't for real, if it wasn't serious. So it's come funny up. now that they've done a hell of a lot of backtracking and go, oh, we did say that to start with, but most of it now is from de-snagging. It's from, you know, bloody European, after European settlement. It's, it's from, um, you know, floods. It's from everything else. They will not admit that it's from their environmental problems, which everybody knows it's from. We can prove that it's from that. Yeah hundreds of photos, heaps of videos to prove that every spring during their environmental flows, look at the tree roots getting, the dirt getting washed away, look at all the tree roots here. All that dirt is being washed away from the riverbanks underneath the trees and then that, that dirt and sand and shit is going somewhere, so where's it all going? It gets washed into the middle of the river and then gets washed down into the narrowest part which is Barma Choke. So then they're... Then Which they we know they want to bypass, yeah. either by, by um, pipe or by channel. Um, they've denied that recently, and now they're saying that, oh, no, we, we're not going to put a pipe or, or a channel. And actually, in their transcript, it said the big, um, the big dream was a bypass channel. So they come out and say now that, <laughs> oh, no, we've never, we've never ever planned a bypass channel. No, so they they think they're going to fix it, you know, flooding the Barma Forest by bypassing it. 
but when they put their 15,000 megs a day up to 20,000, what the hell is that going to do to our river here? Mm. It's alright to bypass the Barmer Choke. That's right, they want to push more down. They want to frig up the riverbanks even more. That's a bit the start to shit us to tears. Pe yeah, people don't realise this is only the start of it. So they're doing a similar thing up, up where you are with yeah. the, with the yeah, flows. They, yeah, they go for months. Yeah, it's, 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 banks. Yeah, it's just smashing It's them. destroying their banks there, but the, the water's just putrid then when it keeps rising up and down. The water's dirty all the time. But yeah, and then they're doing, they're doing the same to the, to the Edwards. So it's whilst... Whilst the, you know, we, we're seeing the bulk of it here, but it's obviously affecting all the rivers. All the, the rivers. Lake, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's well, we're the all, trouble. all delivering water, as you said, to the yeah. fake lake. Yep. Yep. It's, it's mind-boggling to think that we're trying to keep an estuary full that had barrages put there in the 30s. Fair enough, rightly so at the time, maybe, but not now. No. But when the millennium drought hit, and they did have a lot of a lot of salt and they did have a lot of dramas with the water in their lakes. But if they could see what them actions to get all the water that they've got out of us, what they could, what devastation that it's doing here, I'd hope to think they would think twice. As, as an Australian, whether you're South Australian, a Victorian or a New South, to see the devastation that it's causing here, to to still be able to keep saying, well we need you know, we need the amount of water down there for boating regattas and shit like that. Like, you're killing farmers, you're killing our river, you're killing the communities around them for, for boating regattas. I don't get the fact, or what confuses me the most, you chat with people or you on Facebook or whatever, oh, it's for the ecology, for the ecosystem. Yeah. Right, all the water that we're flushing out the mouth of the Murray. Yeah. Well, how does that, where does that stand? It used to be an estuary. Yeah. Right? You could even see in Charles Sturt's, Charles Sturt's journals. He wasn't even half a day across the lake and he couldn't drink the water. Yeah. yeah. Salt. Yeah. Uh, and how they keep it this, this far high yeah. without 700, fresh water. 700 mil or something above sea level. But that was a, that was a political plan to, to give him to give him that water. Like, to buy crazy. Well, Fortunately for the South Australians, they got what they wanted. But for the detriment of this, and that's that's what I'd like to ask them. Really. Ask them, do they realise? No, I think that's why the Greens are quiet. Got Sarah. They got their finger in the pie. Well, they they wanted it because it was for the environment, and they yeah. played the farmers against the Greenies. Yeah, done a good and they, job they, they yeah they well they done a great job of doing that. But it's yeah, it's to the detriment of. Of everything else, there's so much. There's, there was so much to talk about them lakes, but what it's doing to them is extremely well renowned for it, its beaches. They, the, all these beaches are going to be gone in the next 20 years. The, the, the rate our beaches are washing away is huge. You, can, you see the line in now. We'd be in, in the Murray Darling Basin spring environmental flows. Where's the water? Up to my guts. Hmm. And that's plenty of guts to get up to. <laughs> so all this, this whole lot, all under. A yeah. whole lot. Like that's incredible to think. This is saving the environment. The water's coming along as it's clear as dark. Have a look at it there. It's getting smashed to pieces. Wolf and come out here and tell us that it's not. Yeah, where are they? <laughs> Where's the MDBA? Well, they sure as hell don't want to talk to us because they don't like the truth. No. 